Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Hope you're having a shit one. Today we have this 2011 Mitsubishi Evo X or 10, Evo 10, whatever, however you want to say it. But before we go for a drive, I'm here with Maurice and he's the person that's lent me this car for today. Make sure we're keeping a safe distance, distance. because uh, I've also brought my car and he's going to drive my car so I can drive this car and so we can be in separate cars and stuff. So don't fucking bash me in the comments, alright? We're keeping a safe distance here. Yeah, everything's sanitized, we cleaned everything, we're, we're doing our best to stay safe and stuff and I hope you are too. But before we start this video, I just want to say a quick shout out to Maurice and his brother Evan from Lawback Luxury Cars for allowing me to drive their Mitsubishi today. If you want to go check out their Instagrams, I'm going to put them up here and link it in the description. And this car is also for sale, they are selling this car, which I will... Oh yeah! This car is also for sale and I'll link the car in the description, but I'll talk a bit more about it later. Let's go for a drive first. These seats are very comfortable. Unfortunately, this isn't automatic. How the fuck? Ah, oh, so up. Let me turn the volume off. The steering wheel size is nice as well compared to my Subaru, my current one. I feel like my current one, it's a little bit bulkier. Not like bus size bulky, but I think this is a good size for a steering wheel. It's, I don't know, it feels nice and small, easy to handle. And at least with this automatic as well, the paddles are quite big, but they don't turn with the steering wheel. So your finger like, you more or less have to use your pinky when you're turning to up or down shift or something. But I think they're a pretty decent size.
this thing is just so fucking quick. Handles amazingly as well for its age as well. This thing's almost 10 years old now. It still handles like a fucking weapon. There's a tree plantation around here somewhere and it's got all these gravel roads. And so I think the car's a bit dirty now. We'll go shoot it on like a gravel road in the trees, you know, all rally heritage and stuff. I think that's a really good location for this car. So let's try go find it. We're out here. This is a cool location and in case people come past, I've just put my fucking engine bay up just to make it look like I've broken down. So what I'm thinking is I want to try and get some dust of the car. I've got the 85 mil on. I've got a polarizer, fresh polarizer I just bought for yesterday and it works amazingly. So I want to get a shot like maybe if you can do a U-turn up there, reverse all the way and then drive down. Maybe gun a little bit so you get a bit of dust and then slow down. And then just tilt. Okay, yeah. yeah. If you have all the lights on as well, that'd be mint. My 85 mil is a bit dodgy though. Sometimes it thinks it's... um on F16, even though I've put it on F2 and it shows darker than what it usually is. I don't think we got anything. <laughs> no, we didn't really get anything. Maybe go that way with the sun. Yeah, and come back up. Go down to the very end and then come back up. So that straight line through there with the car coming through. Yeah, this will look good. Oh, I see him. Oh, that's good. He knows about the wheel turn. <laughs> Try to get a little bit closer. I want to get some of that trail in the back. Fuck it. I oh, fucked my knees. So I can't squat. <laughs> Just gonna sit down. I'm gonna move this bit of bark just to save me the photoshop vanished fuck off is anyone buying cars now or nah i think i think i think it's actually a good time for cars yeah i'll kind of want to buy a car <laughs> to be honest yeah exactly i kind of want a corvette but i don't know apparently there's issues with it now i don't know if i want to get one anymore i like how it comes stock with bbs wheels that's dope like so cool Oh, there you go, with and without polarizer, big difference. So this is what the, there's a filter on here. This is what oh, it does, so that's fuck. with with it, with it, and yeah. then without. Shit. Yeah, it's a big difference. So if you gun it, yeah. I think a lot of dust may come out. Like if you turn traction off, gun it for a bit, like a tiny bit, like whoop, yeah. bit of dust will come out yeah. and then just drive slowly up until like, I kind of can't see you anymore. Sweet, got a bit of dust. Ah, not quite the, not quite the shot I was looking for. I think you just need to like get it sideways a little bit to like, <laughs> and wrap it around one of these fucking trees. Now it's too dangerous here. Um, how about we go off a bit and we just look for another place yeah, to shoot. We'll go off a bit further. Here. All right, we'll try here. Yeah, there you go. There you go, yeah, that'll work. We found this location down here. And before, I just, it's easy to do in a manual car because I can just dump the clutch and go through the gears and I made this huge dust cloud here. So just go right down to the end where, the, where it starts yeah. and then just yeah. do that and then just come and at me. Do it, do, it, do, it, do it like slow down here or stop here? Or yeah. Just, are you gonna do one I reckon just keep fucking going, bro. I reckon just, you just like, gonna keep feel like yeah, the whole time, and I'll just be in the middle and just don't hit me. Yeah. I'll just stand in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's it. All right, fuck yeah. I think we're gonna get it. <laughs> oh, fucking coronavirus. Fuck's sake. All right, so this is the best to do when you have a bit of sunlight as well. I'm gonna try f7.1. High shutter speed, one one thousandth of a second. 
ISO 640. And we want F7.1 because we want to be able to, um, we don't want the cloud in the background to be a blur. We want it to be sort of in focus to see all the dust and stuff flicking up. All right, please don't kill me, Maurice. Oh, that is fucking sick. <laughs> Hang on, stay there. That looks dope. The cloud's still there. I think we, we got some in there, I think. I took so many photos. Dude, yeah, right? How Dude, much how much fun sick. is it on gravel? That's sick. That's sick. Alright, wait for this to load. Holy shit. Oh dude, that is sick. <laughs> that is insane. That is so cool. This is what these cars are designed to do though, man. It's like it's so heartbreaking seeing some cars just kept up as garage queens and they never really see roads like this. Fuck yeah. This thing looks so sexy, bro. You like it? Yeah, it looks so good. <laughs> I actually love it how it looks dirty. You've got all these dirt streaks across it. Like, it cool? I yeah, guess it's the environment. I reckon it's suit. I reckon the dirt suits it, man. This is a good shot right here. Actually, it's a fucking mad shot. Wait, back it up a bit. Oh, that's a sick shot. Maybe one landscape. Show the road. Make sure the road's in. Kind of like a rule of thirds. You know, the car's in one third. Here, you can even. I can even get something up to show you what I mean. Oh, maybe I can't. I don't have it set up. But basically, you want to try and get the car in one third. One third here, one in the middle, and one to the right. See how that's nice on the eyes? We've got the road and the car. Because all these trees, they grow, they have fields of them. And they grow these trees to chop them down. The last time I was here, which was a while ago, but there's like a driveway that you can pretty much go through the trees, like narrowly going through the trees. And they're like these really tall pine tree looking things. Oh fuck. Okay, gotta be careful. Cause they chop down trees all the time. The locations move. So it's hard to find more stuff like that where you can sort of fit a car into, but man, you're not gonna drive the car through here. The car's too low. It's gonna fucking bottom out. Yeah, so bring it forward a bit, I reckon. Keep coming. I always say it's really important just like to walk around the car and just like suss out what the picture is that you're actually going to take. Like it's good to just see the car from a few different angles before, you know, you, you sort of walk away and move locations or something. Yeah, Polarizer's doing kind of fuck all there, anyway. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, worth it for the shot. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. That looks super cool. It's got like a little sun flare in it. It's so, I don't know how to explain like the what's happening. It's like the car blends in with like yeah. gray and then you got the green. It's just so It's so important to shoot it. Like imagine shooting this in like near a shopping center. Like it's it wouldn't like make any it sense. Up, like what it yeah. Now, out, you know? Yeah, it's, it suits the environment. It's so important for a car to do that. Uh, I use Lightroom to edit, and then Premiere to edit the videos. And how do you get your file size? What do you just put it down to? Ten meters? Uh, yeah, about that actually. Yeah, I resize these. This shoots like photos almost in like nine k. Yeah, it's fucking each photo is sixty one megabytes. Yeah, my, I only do photos for our cars online, like a, yeah. So I do fuck with it a little bit. And we do a little bit of editing and stuff, and we do resize to ten meg for car sales and stuff like that. Yeah, but this is a whole different ballgame. The file size on these cameras, like the pixel size, is actually too big for Instagram. What? So, yeah, so I got to I resize them to 5K. All right, man. I think that's pretty good. I call this mug. Hang on, it says Kenyam. <laughs> coffee mug. Zandrew got it for me for my birthday. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Once again, just a big thank you to Maurice and Evan from Lawbeck Luxury Cars for lending me their car. If you want to go check out that car or find any more details about it, I'm going to link it in the description so you can go check it out. I've got a few more cars planned for this coming week to drive and photograph and stuff to make more of these videos. If you want to see me drive any particular car next, 
leave it down in the comments and I will try my very best to get my hands on that car. It's kind of hard for car stuff to, like, to get certain cars in Australia because we don't have as much of the market as Europe and America gets in a way. Uh, but like, for example, we don't have, we don't even have the Porsche taken yet take on or take on however you want to say it but we we didn't even get that car to the end of this year so we are really behind on some of the cars which is really annoying so i'll try my best to get certain cars but you just let me know what you kind of want to see and yeah i'll try my best to get that car i hope you enjoyed watching i hope i taught you something new in today's video i learned a lot about automatic evos <laughs> but with that all said and done have a shit one <laughs>